So I'm back at Larig Fell, come up this morning for sunrise, got up here at about half past five, quarter to six I suppose. And um, the sun took a little while to rise above the, above the mountains. But uh, now it's up and it's, uh, it's absolutely stunning. This is definitely the right time to come. Um, we got the sun obviously to the east which is illuminating that wall beautifully now. Um, it's quite misty obviously over Windermere which is a, a little bit of a shame but I was half expecting it. It was very misty yesterday. It just was. It just means that obviously the, uh, the background won't come out nice and crisp but you know it could add to the image. Who knows? Once I get it on the big screen I'll have a little look. But yeah I've got the image that I came up here for so I'm really pleased with this now. So I think now I can just have a little walk around and see what else there is. We've come back to Blee Tarn. We was here at Christmas, well between Christmas and New Year, and the first time we came here, uh, it was thick fog uh, and mist. And then the second time we came, which was actually New Year's Day, the weather was good, as in kind of clear skies or some, at least some blue skies, uh, but it was blowing a gal. But today, it's uh, the weather's a lot better. And so we thought we'd take the opportunity to come back I know that we've imaged this before and I know this has been imaged countless times but it's just such a, a stunning place it really is so um, we've had a good couple of hours here now and then we're going to go off and explore and try and find cathedral caves not that we're going to do it today but we just want to get our bearings try and find it so we're ready for tomorrow but we're going to leave Bleed on now and I'm sure we'll be back. Oh, we'll be alright. It's easy. Easy my ass. Well I'm off to Black Crag this morning. One of my oldest friends who was born in the lakes and lives in the lakes has recommended this place. The only thing is with Sam is that he knows the lakes like the back of his hand. Where with me, unless it's got a sat nav coordination i get a bit lost but anyway i think i'm on the right path if not this is going to be a lovely walk well it won't be a lovely walk it'd be a rubbish walk if i'm going the wrong way so uh i'm looking for a gate now and it says the gate i'm looking for iron keyed where is it iron killed i don't know iron something Ironside. Oh, that's made me feel a bit better. Iron Keld and Hawk's Head. That way. Let's do it. Well, I made it to Black Crag. In fact, I've just walked away from Black Crag a little bit um, just to get a better view of the lake. And uh, I'm treated to a beautiful sunrise. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than this. So all I've got to do now is try and find a, a composition. I'm going to have a little walk around. I'm in no hurry. Just wait for some of these mountains here to, to come to life. Yeah, I think this morning is going to be very worthwhile. Thank you, Sam. Well, I found a composition that may work. 
it's uh, very similar to ah now I've been saying Lowrig Fell and it's not according to Sam it's Luffrig Fell unless I got that wrong as well I knew I shouldn't pronounce things um, anyway right this is the composition it's uh, another ladder and stone wall with the cairn to the left hand side and obviously the mountains in the background and at the moment there is some patches of blue skies and the clouds are moving in the direction of the sun so I'm hoping soon that there'll be a pocket of clear skies to illuminate these mountains in the background and, and possibly the wall as well but perhaps I'm being a little bit hopeful but we have got light over there which is looking very nice I must admit so at the moment it's just a waiting game well that's me done at Black Crag um, it was a, a stunning place and it was a really nice walk actually I'm not convinced the images are gonna come out fantastic because uh, the sky was very hit and miss uh, one minute the the wall and the and the sky that I was imaging was illuminated and the mountains in the background was in shadow and kind of vice versa depending on the sky so I gave it a good hour an hour and a half I suppose behind the camera I suppose I was up here for a good I don't know two two and a half hours in total so uh, but yeah it's an amazing view and I'm so pleased I came right so let's start making the walk down right so far so good I didn't get lost I made it to exactly where I needed to be but now I've got a bit of a problem and I don't quite know what to do they don't look happy go on then off you go Go on then. Go on. Go on. Don't do cows. There we go. All right. Yeah, it was quite easy really. I just uh, I just shooed them out of the way and everything was good. 